I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. I'm Kevin. And today's video is a learning on location. It is homeschool day at the alligator farm in St. Augustine, Florida. So we are going to head there to learn more about alligators as well as pollinators because that is the theme of their homeschool day. We have about an hour and a half drive ahead of us, so let's get going. How do you know that? Because the alligator has a shorter sound. This one is the crocodile. How do you know that? Because the crocodile has a longer sound. So we had a blast at the alligator farm. Did y'all have fun? Oh yeah, yes. definitely. Okay, so we are going to each tell you something that we learned. Emily, you want to start? Yes, please. What'd you learn? I learned that the Dinosuchus is a relative of an alligator. Very cool. That is really cool. All right, babe, what did you learn? 
Oh, I just learned some basics. Um, thought I'd pass them along. Um, one thing being that alligators and crocodiles differ, and it's very noticeable in the shape of their head and their jaws. The crocodile is a V shape, and an alligator is a U shape. That's pretty interesting. It makes it easier to find. It what does, you're and at. some have very long, stretched out Vs too, didn't they? Yeah, they did. What was your favorite? So my favorite was the albino, which um, looks like a white alligator, obviously, because it's lack of pigment. But what I learned about them, because every time we've gone previously, they've just been sleeping. So I learned that their eyes are actually just as white as their skin. There's no pigment to their eyes either, because this time we were able to catch one mm -hmm. moving around. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, they were pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were the, like the best. I also love those. Yeah. Well, they're the most unique, I think. I mean, there were some pretty unique ones, though. Speaking of which, what was your favorite? Do you have a favorite? I do. My favorite was the... I really liked... Was it the Indian one that had the funny nose? Well, I really liked that I could see the Komodo dragon. Mm, yeah, yeah and the cool, cool thing is you had to like go down and look into the den to yeah, see it. They, yeah, they were hiding in the bay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what was your favorite? I might have to stay with Maximo, one of the biggest crocodiles that they ever had. Um, no longer with us, but mm. um, no. Maximo is still with us. He's the one we viewed underwater. It's Go Mac that's go no Mac longer with us. That's the one. Yeah, he's like 17, he was like 17 foot long. 17 foot, yes. He was huge. So Emily has a picture in front of him, which we will insert right here for you guys. It's uh, him stuffed, obviously, but he was like 17 foot. And then I think Maximo is 15 foot. So just, yeah, a few, just, just shy. Yeah, just shy of that. I think my favorite on the opposite end of the Go Mac and um, Maximo giant was the Johnston crocodile? No, I don't. Wasn't it like? Yeah, I don't know if they they probably get bigger than that, but it was like it was like two or three inches. I was like, oh, I want to take him home for a pet. And <laughs> it had like a weird nose. It did. It had a really, really long, thin, skinny, thin, thin, thin. Nose. It was yeah. pretty cool though, wasn't it? Yes. I can imagine he's really little fish. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's really little food. And the snout kind of looked like um, a saltfish snout. Yeah, that okay. is what it looked okay. like. I could say that. Yeah. Yep. All right, you guys. Well, if you ever happen to find yourself in the St. Augustine, Florida area, we highly recommend that you swing by the alligator farm. Definitely. Yes.